Next, guys, in case you need confirmation, we're about to have a crash. A half gallon of my kid's chocolate milk is $6. Now we've seen inflation go through the roof over the past few years, and this is due to, of course, many reasons. But this is partially due to the Federal Reserve printing money like crazy, as well as, of course, many other reasons. Now what the Federal Reserve has confirmed is that they are going to taper down on printing money and quantitative easing. And on top of that, they're going to be doing rate hikes very soon here. If you look at the recent mortgage rates as of the last day or so, rates are already going up which means asset prices are going to, in theory, shrink, which means a crash could be imminent. Now, what does this have to do with AMC, you might ask? AMC in the past with a negative beta trades in an opposite correlation of the general market. So if and when we see a broad market sell-off or a market crash for that matter, we could see AMC MOAS happen there and then. We do have a new important article to go through, SEC to consider rules that boost transparency of high-frequency trading firms, SEC chair we see right here, or Mr. Gary Gensler. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission chairman seeking to improve transparency in the world's biggest bond market. He has staff for new rules to ensure principal trading firms, or PTFs, are properly registered dealers. Speaking at the New York Federal Reserve, Gary said the rules would likely mandate PTFs, also known as high-frequency trading firms, to report their trades to FINRA's Trade Reporting and Compliance Engine. The SEC, as the U.S. market's regulator, should require that such trading firms comply with capital and record-keeping rules and be subject to periodic exams, much like equities and corporate bond markets said. Regulators have long argued that high-frequency trading a computerized strategy that can move billions of dollars in fractions of a second carries risks in the U.S. government bond market that have threatened the ability of the market to function as well as the ability of investors to fairly value assets. Critics say that high frequency trading can, can cause excessive price swings in the bond market, which has faced declines in liquidity. It's time for us to close the regulatory gap and ensure we have regulatory oversight over PTS and, and others engaged in the regular business of buying and selling in the market, Gensler said. Gensler said registering these trading platforms can help promote resiliency and greater access to the treasury market. Agency rules would also consider whether all members of any registered clearing agency in this market should be required to bring in both sides of all their trades, cash and repurchase agreements, strengthen the commission's covered clearing agency rules, and whether we can enable broader access to clearing, possibly including through responsible use of sponsor or correspondence clearing. So Gary Gensler, once again, fighting for some more transparency. Hopefully we can see more of these rules go through very soon here. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.